now I want to bring back 2020 anchor Chris Cuomo because you also talked to parents who had to wait to see if their children survived. Imagine the first word they got was that the school was on lockdown. They thought their kids were making gingerbread houses today at the elementary school. That was the plan. They rushed there. There's chaos as to be imagined in these situations. But to not know for so long, not because of any disarray, but because of just the, the straight situation. And inside are the children living through this event. And those who survived, their parents hope that this is something that someday they'll be able to forget. We spoke to one little girl and her mother who are very happy to have each other tonight. What do you remember? What happened? We got to school. We did everything we needed to. And then we heard all this racket at um, our classroom. And it, we were like all scared. Then we heard them say, go in your cubbies. Everybody went to their cubbies? Mm -hmm. Did you hear any more bad noises? Yes. And while that was going on, your teacher was reading you books and keeping you calm? Yeah. You have a good teacher, don't you? Mm -hmm. You love your teacher? Yeah. Did she or teacher seem nervous? No. She just kept her calm and told you a story. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which one? Um, she read us The Nutcracker oh. and another book that was about Christmas. I love The Nutcracker. Do you love it? Yes. I'm afraid of the Mouse King. Come on, he's a little scary, let's be honest, right? It's not just me. So you're in there. How do you leave the classroom? What happens? How do you want um, to leave? We got in the line and we had to close our eyes. You had to close your eyes? Yes. And when you opened them, where were you? We were walking down to the fire station. What happened there today happened, and it's over. OK? And you have to be happy that you're OK. You OK? I didn't even check you out. You all right? Yeah. What happened here in the front? <laughs> Did you have teeth there this morning when you went there? No. Oh, good. All right, then you're, you know that you're missing all the teeth in the front. You're aware of that? Ella Christmas list made? Mm-hmm. Sent to Santa? Yes. How long is the list? Um, two pieces of paper. It was a long list. She's in better shape with Santa after what she lived through today. But the biggest gift, I think, Diane, when you talk to these families, these teachers, first responders mm. today, the calm in the face of a situation like this, leading these kids out, making sure they had their eyes closed, but those teachers had their eyes wide open, and they got these kids to safety as many as they could. That is right, and they knew that that was the main thing they had to do, and they called on all their courage and all their training. Thank you so much, Chris.